All right, testing, testing, here we go. Was that a voice crack? I don't know. But anyways, guys, you know what time it is. It's officially December. You know, Christmas season, hot chocolate, school pizza parties, and the World Cup. Yeah, it's a very unusual December. However, something that I hope we can all agree on is how cold it starts getting. I love that I'm saying that when at the same time there's this big old bright hot sun right now. Yeah, because the weather in New England always changes. Regardless, you need to make sure you're wearing layers upon layers. Oh, and don't get me started on the snow that we have here. Again, I love saying that when this big old bright sun is here the sun is my best friend guys but again don't get me started on all the snow that comes in december because that's what this story time is all about whoosh transition change i'm sorry that i changed scenes so much it's just for sake of retention but anyways i'm from rhode island born and raised here smallest state in the country yep people live here and our winters always come with snow and i have a love-hate relationship with snow at first i get super excited it feels festive you know i'm happy making snow angels having snowball fights but a couple months later when the snow is still on the ground and it's just covered in dirt from all the cars driving by it oh one of the best parts about having snow though is relating to school. Why? Because when it would snow a lot on a school day, the school would cancel class that day. And we called those snow days. We would just stay home, watch movies, and play video games. And I absolutely loved snow days. You know, no school, a whole day off. Distant learning and Zoom calls ruined that though, right? <laughs> you know, because y'all still got school, the weather ain't going to sad for you anymore. And yeah, comment if snow days are no longer a thing. The night before a crazy snowstorm would happen, we would hear all about it on the news. Everybody, grab your eggs, your bread, you'll be snowed in. Okay, but is school canceled? Because that's what really mattered to me. And you'd have to wake up early, the morning of, to find out if your school is really canceled. Oh, we'd watch the news while putting on our snow boots and winter coats. You know, just in case they don't cancel class. And one by one, the news reporter would announce the schools that are canceled in your city. Martin Luther King High, Washington Middle School. Come on, come on, come on. And the minute they would announce your school, it feels like you just won the lottery. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, let's go. I was gonna do my next scene change here, but this sun, yeah. It's just ironic talking about a snow day video. Seeing the light. Oh, now it's so dark. <laughs> Anyways, anytime we would have a snow day, I would sleep in, stay in my bed. You know, it would be a nice relaxing day. However, that relaxing doesn't last too long because out of nowhere, mijo, go help shovel the snow. What? Yep, some days I would have to shovel the snow. And at first, I wouldn't mind it. But if you shovel snow wrong, like in the wrong form, in a very awkward form, then ladies and gentlemen, that's where back problems start. Man, I'd rather be in school oh but a nice hot chocolate after would hit the spot <laughs> all right let me move from here canceling school would be somewhat random too very inconsistent some days they would get it right you know three feet of snow would be on the ground and there's no way cars are traveling or you're gonna go to school so school canceled day off other days they would cancel school a night before but the next morning where it was supposed to storm a blizzard there would be zero snow on the ground zilch zero nothing nada it'd be sunny wow Whoa. Can't complain over a day off. And some other times, it would snow a lot. But we were still forced to go to school because the weather was unpredictable. Oh, everybody would come to school shivering, wearing wet snow boots, covered in snow. Well, we'd be covered in snow because we would have snowball fights before school. This one time, I had to go to school, but we woke up to some snow. Ay, mijo, if you don't want to go to school today, don't worry. My mom, however, gave me permission to stay home. But I remembered I actually had a spelling test that day. Ma, but I have to go to school today. You can see though that she didn't want to take me but she didn't want to influence me not going to school either so i had my mother drive practically in a blizzard and this blizzard was actually pretty bad i'm getting nervous that we're not gonna make it out of this storm oh my god be careful mama and my mom looks both frightened yet annoyed i never knew those emotions could be combined i also just realized i have these still here these are like thanksgiving fall themed and it's almost winter come if i should decorate this place into a very christmasy festive themed luckily we survived a storm and we make it to my school However, there is something very, very off that day. No cars were in the parking lot. Um, are we early? Mijo, do you actually have school today? I don't know. I thought I did. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could make this up. We ended up going to the school on a day where school was canceled. So to double check, I still went to the front door and rang the buzzer. You know, to see if anybody would let me in. But nobody did. Probably because nobody was there. My mom was so mad at me the rest of the ride home. And when we get home, I check the news and there it is. It's the list of all the schools that were canceled. I guess I was just so distracted and focused on my spelling test that day. Well, here's a new word for you. Chancla. 
C-H-A-N-C-L-A. Because that's what you're going to get next time you don't check the news. Cling, 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 cling. Yes, sir. We're trying to hit 100K subscribers by the end of the year on the brand new Clips channel. So let's see if we can do that. Thank you so much for watching.